What's goody? It's your boy and I'm back with another banging video and today we got NBA Legends explaining how crazy good Larry Bird was. You know what time it is bro and if you want to see more great Bird videos make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Like the video. Do me a big favor by liking the video. By liking the video the way the YouTube algorithm works, YouTube will show the video to more people so you're directly helping me to grow. I would appreciate that. I'm trying to get the hundreds of thousands of subscribers bro and everyone subscribe account so please if you're watching the video subscribe to the channel my youtube algorithm says 70 percent of the people that watch the video don't subscribe please i'm trying to pay some bills man i'm on my cash nasty and by you liking and you subscribing more people won't see the video i'll get more views and i'm gonna be able to pay some bills you're helping me directly i'm telling you so please and thank you but with that being said bro join the fam if you haven't done that yet we're going to do great things together, and you could be a part of that. I would appreciate if that. If you would do that for me, I would appreciate you. But with that being said, bro, we're just going to go ahead and jump to the video. We're going to speak a little bit throughout the video. We're going to speak after the video. Let's get it. The man from Indiana who gave us an 80s to remember by lighting up a battle between the Celtics and the Lakers Larry will forever be heralded as one of the players who saved basketball. Bird and Magic's coast-to-coast -coast war and jaw-dropping styles gave the NBA the boost it needed before the emergence of Michael Jordan. But for Bird, with three titles, two finals MVPs, and three consecutive MVP seasons, some forget just how good he really was. Today we look three at NBA players MVP explaining how crazy, crazy good Larry Bird was in his prime. Before we get into all that, if you want to win a PS5 with NBA 2K22 and Madden NFL 22 included, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. When speaking of the NBA's greatest of all time, there's always five or ten guys that hit the list. Each carries a different generation. From 50s Bill Russell to 60s Wilt Chamberlain or 70s Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 80s Magic Johnson, 90s Michael Jordan, 2000s Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, to today's LeBron James. Some get overlooked when they shouldn't, for example, Tim Duncan, and others get left behind because of the lack of titles like Charles Barkley. What happens mm. when all these players you talk to another great as if he was like no other? Larry Bird was lauded by most of these legends, because he was one of them too. He was consistent, tough, offensively masterful, and one of the first big guys to shoot many three-point shots. LeBron James spoke candidly in an interview about how he was one of the few guys ever to win a three-point contest with a warm-up shirt on. LeBron referring to the time Larry won his third consecutive three-point contest. That was crazy. James continued. For young guys that don't know him, you know, they, they think of Larry Bird as a jump shooter. Uh, but he was so much more than that. He was a passer. He had mm -hmm. double-digit rebounds. Um, he definitely took charges. And, um, you know, he's a straight up complete basketball player and me as a small forward. Later in his career, LeBron adapted That's his love game coming to the from new LeBron. way of basketball, which was a charge led by the Golden State Warriors in shooting more from behind the arc. LeBron was considered a big guy, but began shooting more threes and no doubt was heavily influenced by the fact that Larry Legend had already achieved this feat in the 80s. In another interview when asked I about bet. his top three of all time, LeBron put Larry Bird firmly in there with MJ and Dr. J. Oh my God, <laughs> three. Uh, yeah, Larry Bird, Dr. J. Michael. Shaq had a very different opinion on Larry initially. Yo. He said he disliked Bird because he was jealous. He thought, how could this regular looking guy do everything? Never really had a chance to play against Larry Bird, but I, I actually used to hate Larry Bird. I, 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 I hated him. Shaq soon realized Yo, as he grew older and wiser that word. despite getting the luck of the Irish with the Celtics, Larry made his own luck when it came to shooting the ball. Shaq, at 7'1", of course, had a completely different style of game at the time. He was built to the max and used brute force to impose his will on the defense and rack up the points. Right, maybe Locked Shaq should have practiced more. Shaq was also faster than most games on his jump for, shot, particularly in the early part of his career. Oh my goodness, look at the big guy move. Bird was That's notoriously crazy. slow, which was all the more testament to his skill set, but his basketball IQ was just on a different planet. He once sank a shot from behind the backboard, which O'Neal chalked down to a fluke following a bet with his friend. Sam Vincent to Bird, and it goes oh! I bet he could do it again. It wasn't fluky. I've seen everything. Shaq never really got the chance to play against Larry He'd hit Bird, that which shot is again if he tried it. Because I don't think it would have taken him so long to recognize greatness. On the other hand, six-time NBA champion Kareem Abdul-Jabbar battled Bird on numerous occasions while playing with the Showtime Lakers. Bird got the better of him in the 1984 finals and took another two in a decade that was largely dominated by the purple and gold. 
Kareem spoke Yo, about how Larry Kareem is a legend, bro. Against and said, how good was Michael Spurs? Jordan? People, I don't think people, people, people look at him and think, yeah, oh, he's a white guy, he's, slow guy. He's a chubby white guy, he wore <laughs> us out, man. You know? But see, just coming from the just was, great this Kareem. muscle here, the one between his ears, yeah. that was his best, you know, because he, he made the three pointers and he had assists. And rebounded. Bird had skills. a crazy skill set. He was set, always man. at the right place at the right time on the court. You know, one of the great players I, you know, I, I had the opportunity to play against. 11 time All Star Charles Barkley, a regular season MVP during a star filled 90s, was once asked, Are you better than Bird? And he took hmm. a long pause before answering, which is very telling. Am I better than Bird? Oh, man, that's a great question. Most great players respond immediately with how they think they're the best because you have to have that kind of mentality in order to get to the top. Instead, Barkley answered, I'm a better rebounder. I'm probably a better defender. He's a better shooter, obviously. You I know, mean, he's just a, trying a to be realistic. Talk about who's better. But you have to think, you have to have that mentality. No, no, you know, you know, you know. You know uh, like, I, if, I think, you know, it's, it's a team game. I think deep down he knew that Bird was a better player, and for someone as good as Chuck, I mean, I think he like did. That in an yeah. interview shows you how heavy the weight of Larry Bird's legacy was. Former teammate Kevin McHale also references how unreal Bird was to play with. McHale was Bird's right-hand man while playing with Boston, claiming the Sixth Man of the Year award twice, along with seven All-Star. That boy appearances. McHale was nice, bro. His bruh. story of a specific Detroit game. He was, was a hooper too. There was a bit of time left on the clock, and we had beaten Detroit. And I just scored 56, and I'm walking off the court. And Larry said, "Where are you going?" I said, "I'm done." I said, "I'm exhausted. I'm tired." Larry goes, "Don't do it, man. Because when I get that hot, I'm not coming out of the game." A week later, he got that hot. He looked at me at about 50 he points and he looked at me and out. said, I told you. The pair would go on to win three titles Larry together. Tried to and tell McHale him, bro. would continue to tell stories that live on in Celtics folklore forevermore. A highlight being a throwback from Bird's brutal trash talk at a game in Phoenix. We have a play, out of bounds play, I'm taking it out. and um, Larry says, I'm going to bust off the play and I'm just going to come out and I'm going to shoot a three. And I'm like, we're down two. I'm like... No, don't do that. I'm like, just, let's shoot it too, please. Go to the hole, try to get fouled. Let's he didn't get even no care about the If we can't win this game. And Larry says, no, nah, I'm just going to bust a three on him. And I'm like, oh, my he, God. He's just going to so bust a three. Us, tells the Phoenix bench. Um, <laughs> tells the coaches, yeah, I'm just fixing to bust a three on you guys and just go home. I'm tired of this. <laughs> and he gets the ball. Insanity. Jumps out, busts the play, comes out, gets the ball to slot, shoots the ball. As the ball's in the air, he kind of turns towards the Phoenix bench and yells, Told you so! <laughs> Larry's mental game was such that he could just open up any team and tear them apart. He would use psychological warfare on a regular basis. Players speak of his toughness not because of his size or physicality, but because of his mind. He would impose he his will on the opposition too, and could force them off their game just as much as he could switch on his. A mastermind at trash talk tactics, Larry Bird will forever go down in history as one of the greatest trash talkers of all time. And in the 80s, that mattered. With players such as Bill Lambier, Hakeem Olajuwon, Magic Johnson, and the eventual emergence of Michael Jordan, Bird did what was necessary in order to gain that mental edge that took him over the top. Big facts. He played Worthy, very hard. The bro. 1988 Finals MVP simply stated that Larry was trash talking all the time, but the problem was he could back it up. Yeah, he, he could back it up. So that's the uh, biggest problem. <laughs> when you're arrogant, <laughs> you can back it up. You're not arrogant. You're just good. And uh, yes, yeah, sir. Is good. Even Warther's former teammate Magic Johnson spoke on the fact that he had a real dislike for Larry Bird as far back as their college playing days for the very reason that Larry would constantly get the better of him. Johnson claimed in a recent interview during a press buildup for the Broadway play about the pair that after he beat Larry in the NCAA championship game in 1979, the most watched college basketball game ever, by the time he got to the Lakers, they were 0-8 and eight to the Celtics. You had to hate the Celtics to beat them because when I got here, we were over, zero and eight is crazy. I think, 8. And then the first time against the Celtics in the in championship series, and then we lost that in 84. That made us 0-9, for 9, I believe. And later is quoted as saying, when I played, Larry Bird was the only one I feared. Not bad when hearing it from a five-time champion and one of the true great basketball He's players He's a guy to be feared. At the 2019 NBA Awards, Johnson received the NBA Lifetime Achievement Award, but it was shared with, guess who? Larry Bird. Bird was simply the king of talking the talk, then actually going out and walking the walk. Listen, man, retirement is great for you because you've never talked this long. <laughs> 
Dominique Wilkins recounts one of the most famous games where Larry Bird promised Kevin McHale he was Dang. going to break McHale's record against Atlanta. Wilkins said, He got so hot in that game that you talk about that patented step back. He was doing that step back and he switched it to his left hand three separate times in that game. She Yo. Hit a three. He was scoring anywhere on the floor that Ooh, he wanted. That's anywhere, anywhere he wanted. Each other, wanted. Bench was giving each other five. It's crazy. You didn't fight with them after the game. Forget, forget Larry. Did well, you beat it, anybody on the I bench? You give it five. He's scoring on me. Yes. Every one of those guys got mm. fined three thousand. Okay. <laughs> Larry's it's legend lives on because of the greats that want to tell them. That's embarrassing. The reason there's a list of top ten players who consistently call Bird their toughest opponent or one of their all-time greats is because Larry himself is in that list. Larry is a top ten baller of all time. His style Most doesn't definitely. matter when his skill sinks the opposition. Top because five. above all, the opposition will remember. They'll remember the steals, the shots, the clutch plays, and the trash talk. They'll remember the bird from the early 80s, not from the early 90s. The Larry who stepped out on the court You're in his warm-up jacket and made five. Michael Jordan that. recoil in envy. MJ announced, He ain't took off his top yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see what he took off his top. <laughs> well, when Bird did, Insanity. it was all business. Three he may as well have taken a mop and bucket to the floor because he was about to clean up. He was an impetuous and never relenting opponent that took the life from anyone who stepped onto his battlefield. The consensus is a resounding stamp of legendary status for the man who will forever go down in the history books as one of the greatest ever players, and arguably the greatest ever Celtic to grace the court. What did you think of Larry Bird in his prime? Okay, uh, that's the end of the video. Um, Larry Bird in his prime, I think the only thing... He said Larry Bird's top 10. I think Larry Bird's top 5. If not top 5, he is number 6 most definitely. I don't even want to put him top 10 though. I think he's definitely top 5. There's no top talents. I think there's 5 people that had more of an all-around game than he did. But not only more of an all-around game, but more of an impact on the game than he did. The way he turned around that Celtics team whenever he came into the league and also the way when him and Magic came into the league, they basically saved the league with their talent. Not only their talent, but their grit and their competitiveness because it could have been there was a lot of talented people that came in, but there wasn't a lot of birds and Magic. So there weren't those talents. So like at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, it, he's an amazing talent, and I got to put him over a lot of people whenever it comes down to certain accolades. Well, let's talk, like, let's, let's talk about that three times back-to-back -back MVPs. Like, I don't know if that was ever done by anybody else, but there, if, if it is done by anybody else, which I don't even think it is, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Fact check that. I'm, I know y'all would know better than I do, but uh, yeah, if it is true, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if, if anybody else did do it, then it's a short list of people that have done it. And then on top of that, he's one of the only people with the other feet of defeating Jordan every time he played him. So that's a feat he's always got his whole entire life on top of being the biggest trash talker the league has ever seen. Now, he probably was the biggest trash talker the league has ever seen, but he could back it up. So what you going to do about that? You know, it, there's nothing you can do with that. He's going to call it. He's going to tell you where he's going and he's going to shoot it and then fall in the trainer's lap. Who cares if it was on purpose? I seen somebody comment said that I was like, even if it was on purpose, he hit the shot and then fell in the lap. Dude, just for him to hit that crazy three point fader, man, you could fall in his lap on purpose for all I can. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. Complete the complete the mission sir like um but yeah he's he's a different type of level man but uh we've been showing much love to bird man so we're gonna be uh dropping a lot more videos um reacting to him reacting to a lot more stuff so i just need y'all to do me a couple of big favors man i love this video um i love to do library reactions so we'll just be doing a lot a lot more library reactions on the channel you feel me and we'll be coming consistently but for me to do that i need to know y'all like the video and i need y'all to help me by subscribing to the channel i'm trying to build this huge fam hundreds of thousands of subscribers and y'all are the ones that's gonna help me to do that by subscribing everyone counts you feel me so please hit that little button at the bottom also like the video by liking the video the way the youtube algorithm works youtube will show the video to more people and we'll be supporting bird and also getting the channel out there more helping us grow to reach our goals man i got goals to get to hundred thousands of subscribers and i'm trying to do it asap so Y'all help your boy out to do that, man. Trying to pay some bills, man. On oh, my Cash Nasty, man. Shouts out to Cash Nasty. But um, drop down in the comments what you guys want to see next. It could be whatever y'all guys want. So it uh, don't hold up. It could be a bird video, jar video. It could be a basketball video, music video, a soccer video, rugby video. Hey, if you're rocking with me, I'm rocking with you. Other than that, I appreciate you. But until next time, I hope you know what it is. And I'm out you did.